What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that was um, recently placed on my heart and I hope that it is some inspiration to uh, all of you guys out there. Um, I've been told by multiple people that if you want to be something in life, if you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a teacher, if you want to be an engineer, if you want to be a professional football or basketball player, if you want to be an astronaut, if you want to be a business owner, um, you have to look at people who've already uh, gotten to that point and see how did, how, how did they get there? What kind of things that they, um, they do to get to that point? What made them successful? Um, what kind of failures that they faced along the way? What kind of obstacles did they come upon? Um, and watch these people. One of my goals is to uh, become a millionaire. And I had a goal, the same particular goal, a, a few years back and I told myself that I would become a millionaire by the age of 30. I didn't quite reach that goal, but um, I still have a uh, you know goal to become a millionaire in my 30s. So lately what I've been doing is surrounding myself um, with uh, people who are millionaires. Um, I listen to different podcasts. I recently took a course called the Financial Peace University taught by Dave Ramsey, who is a multimillionaire. Um, and I've been doing a lot of reading and a lot of studying about different mutual funds, IRAs, 401ks, about annuities, about different types of insurance, um, because this is what millionaires talk about. This is about what millionaires do. Um, and if you study these people, this group of people who are millionaires, who are only a small portion of the uh, entire uh, world population, um, if you study them, study them and see how did they get to that point? What kind of things are they doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, what kind of things are they investing in? Um, what failures that they have um, uh, to get to that point? I recently read a book also, it's called The Millionaire uh, Next Door, and it talks about all the myths that you hear about um, uh, different millionaires. And um, believe it or not, majority of millionaires are not people that you um, can imagine that who they are. They're not the people who are riding around in these $200,000 cars, $300,000 cars. Not the people who are out in the club, you know, flashing all their money, buying tables and buying bottles. Um, they're not the people who are, you know, wearing Jordans to impress other people. Uh, millionaires are actually people you, you pass by and you would never know that they're a millionaire. They drive cars that are um, used cars. They rarely buy uh, new cars and they pay cash for them. Uh, they don't use debt to, um, uh, to become millionaires. Um, majority of millionaires are not first generation millionaires, so which means that they didn't get their money handed down to them. Uh, they actually worked for it and um, became uh, became out of debt and then used that money to become millionaires. Um, Dave Ramsey, one of his podcasts that I listen to on a daily basis, he recently had um, people call in, millionaires call in, he asked them the same questions over and over again. What did you do to get to that point? How much money do you currently have? Um, did you use debt to become a millionaire? And the majority of them said that it, uh, actually all of them said they did not use debt to become a, become a millionaire. Um, what kind of failures did you face along the way? Um, so I said all of that to say this, that if you want to be something in life, if you want to be a nurse, you need to go study and interact with nurses and see how they interact. What are they doing on a day-to-day -day basis to get to their at that point? Um, and just like my goal is to become a millionaire, and I actually I sit down and I I uh, I find millionaires to uh, study, and I what are they investing in? When they're investing in mutual funds. Okay, maybe I should do this. Uh, they're investing in 401ks, uh, Roth IRAs, and traditional IRAs. Um, these are the things that, that we are not taught as um, as I was growing up. Uh, my parents didn't definitely didn't teach me this, so a lot of stuff I'm learning on my own. But if you want to be successful, if you want to be a doctor, you need to watch how doctors interact. Uh, what are they doing? What what books are they reading? What articles? What what journals? What conferences are they going to? And if you do these things, um, 
you're more likely to become successful. Uh, so I encourage all of you to do that. Whatever your goal is in life, uh, I encourage you to find someone that's already reached that goal and and kind of watch what they're doing, to, how they got to that point. And just because they use one particular path or, or um, one uh, way of getting to that point doesn't mean that you have to take that same path. There are lots of different paths, but it gives you options and it tells you that it is possible if I do it this way or I can do it this way. Uh, my way of becoming a millionaire is not going to be the same as the next person sitting next to me. So, but it d does give you principles. It does give you you some um, something to kind of um, um, guide your your path. Um, so, I hope this video is encouraging to you guys. Um, you guys are already watching this video. I have a lot of pre med students who follow me. So, if you're watching this video, I applaud you because you're taking the necessary steps to reach your goals. Um, I've already been through that path. I've been in school for the last 12 years, so I know what it takes to, you know, get to this point. So, and the fact that you guys are, um, you know, watching this video just tells me that you want to be successful. Uh, so I encourage you to share this video with your friends, your family, your coworkers, even if they don't want to go into medicine, if they want to open up their own business, if they want a promotion at their job, uh, whatever it is that they, um, you know, want to um, achieve. Um, I hope this video gives them some type of um, encouragement and inspiration. Uh, this is Dr. Antonio Webb. If you guys have any more questions, email me at overcometheoddsbook at gmail.com or hit me up on my website, antoniowebmd.com. See you next time.